This is a study by Google. This is a study by a lot of these assessment companies. The biggest predictor of success in a job is cognitive ability. They've been talking about uh, hire for mindset, not for competence, hire for attitude, not for intelligence. I disagree with that. As entrepreneurs, it's important for you to hire for intelligence. And when I say intelligence, I mean fluid intelligence. How do they respond to challenges on a day-to-day -day basis? You must look at candidates from a more holistic perspective in terms of the diversity of experience, the quality of experience rather than the quantity of experience. Once you've shortlisted, make sure that you test for fluid intelligence because for entrepreneurs in particular, it can be a costly mistake. Do not go ahead and make a decision immediately based on what you feel because as I mentioned, there can be a lot of unconscious biases that may be at play. So it's important you get other stakeholders into the conversation. So get them into that panel interview, prepare for that panel, they have very clear rubrics of what you will evaluate, what do you, what are you looking for? You must ask those behavioral event interviewing questions where you understand how they respond to different situations in which they may have to respond quickly, where they may have to show resilience, where they may have to show presence of mind, their judgment, even the ability to manage stress, right? And coming to a decision. What that leads to is, of course, it's not only your decision. You already have buy-in from the stakeholders and you know that the person can deliver on the job because you have done that fluid intelligence test.